There are so many acronyms in education. RPI, MPSS, IEP. I think one of the most intimidating is the infamous PBL, otherwise known as Project Based Learning. Why is it so scary though? I don't know, the idea of giving 20 some eight year olds a real world task and then just giving them time to solve the task? Well, yeah, sounds a little daunting to me. Don't worry, today I'm here to share six tips to help you get a PBL activity up and running in your classroom. And I promise it's gonna take a little less work from you than you thought. First and foremost, what is a PBL activity? So a project-based learning activity, task, resource, whatever you wanna call it, is all about giving your students opportunities to apply their academic skills in a real world context. That's what we want all of our students to be doing with all of our academic skills, right? I don't want you to learn something just because it's helpful in my classroom. I want you to learn something because it's helpful in the world. And I think using PBL activities in your classroom is the perfect way to model that for your students. My first tip for you is to make sure that your project-based learning activity is relevant for your students and designed to be engaging. I don't know about you, but my third graders do not want to fix an issue with a traffic pattern in our community. However, my students do want to run a bake sale to raise money for new playground equipment. Find activities that are engaging for your students, or better yet, let your students come up with problems to solve. A lot of times, PBL resources lend themselves really well to math. You use math skills in so many contexts, but think about ways you can bring in a writing component or the text you can provide your students to read to help them as they're working through the project. Also, there's some amazing social studies opportunities out there that are designed all around project-based learning. A favorite one I've done in the past when we've been learning about government is to let students identify a problem, plan a campaign around it, and then film their proposals for the community. There are so many different ways you can take a PBL activity, but the first thing you're going to want to make sure is that it is engaging and relevant for your learners. My second tip is to make sure that your project is going to be academic skill focused. While the poster creation might be really fun, we need to make sure that our students are using their time to practice, review, and build onto those skills they've already been developing in your classroom. As you're digging into the planning, it'll become really apparent great ways to bring in those content skill activities. My next suggestion for your PBL is to make sure there's a focus on cooperative learning. Sometimes those team activities can be the most challenging part of our day, and that's okay. By having students work in teams or partners, you're helping them build incredibly important social skills. You might just want to do a little bit of front loading for your learners. Help them plan problem solving tactics, what they can do if they disagree with a group member. Talk about ways to be a leader instead of being a boss within the group. Having those conversations before launching your PBL activity is a great way to make sure students are ready to face those problems that you know will probably still crop up. Having those conversations can be really powerful and it's a great example of having to work with other people in the real world, not just within the walls of our classroom. Something else we hear all the time in regards to PBL activities is the concern for differentiation. And that's okay, it's a real concern. A lot of our students have very diverse needs in the classroom and those have to be met even when we're working in a PBL activity. A PBL is great because it's really hands off for you and it's putting the power into your students' hands. But we need to think of ways that all of your students' needs are still gonna be met through this activity. Luckily, PBLs are really great opportunities to differentiate. Maybe you build your groups as leveled groups, making sure students are all gonna be able to work with like-minded peers and develop a product that reflects where their group is at and know that going into the activity. Maybe you're going to mix up all your groups and make sure there are strong partner pairings throughout your groups for your friends who need that extra support. You could also bring in differentiation in the form of choice. If your students are all creating a parade float for the Thanksgiving Day Parade, let them choose based on their interests within the group. There's so many ways you can differentiate and the fun is that your students won't even notice who might be doing things a little bit differently. Everyone's involved, everyone's collaborating, and I promise everyone's learning. One of the most powerful parts of a PBL activity is the reflection tool. We think it's really important that our students can look back on an activity, reflect on the performance not only of their group, but of themselves. It's amazing what students will recognize in themselves through working with a group activity that's all about creating a project. 
whether your students are designing something new or working to solve a problem, give them opportunities to look back on the work that they did, think about things they did well or things they wanna do differently next time. I love to take that feedback that students give during that reflection process and use it as I'm planning for my next project-based learning activity later in the year. Last but not least, we want to remind you that it's okay if you keep it simple. A project-based learning activity does not also need a room transformation and a costume and two weeks worth of work time for your students. If that's the route you want to take, go right ahead. I'm not going to say I haven't, but it doesn't necessarily need that, especially for the first time you're taking on an activity like this in your classroom. It's gonna be engaging enough as it is. Your students are gonna be so excited for the work that they're doing, and they're really gonna enjoy the independence that comes with working through a PBL. Don't worry about pulling out all the bells and whistles when it comes to jumping into the PBL. Do just that. Jump right in and let your students get to work. You know I can't talk about an activity like this without sharing a resource for you as well. One of my favorites that we have in the world of PBL is in fact all of the things we have in the world of PBL. The Holiday Bundle. The Holiday PBL Bundle is exactly that. It's our favorite project-based learning activities that are designed to be taught alongside some of our favorite holidays. The bundle includes Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, and Easter. These are the perfect activities to go along with the hubbub of a holiday because students are already so excited, so eager, and there's a fair chance your schedule for the day is already shot. Using one of these activities is the perfect way to celebrate in your classroom. Within our holiday PBL, you're getting all of the things you need to run each of these holiday project-based learning activities in your classroom. No extra bells and whistles involved. These are quick and easy to use. I love them and I like to call them print and go. Each one includes differentiated stations that are perfect for students who need more support and students who are ready for the independence. The problems that students are solving in these or the activities they're planning for through these are fun, engaging, and again, all holiday based. It comes with extensive teacher directions, suggestions for implementation, and all the resources you need to have your students working hard. I hope I made the PBL acronym a little less intimidating today. Those projects are the perfect way to engage all of your learners as well as differentiating for their needs and giving them great opportunities to be creative. Don't forget to grab the Holiday PBL Bundle. It's linked right up here and down in the description box. And let me know in the comments, what other acronyms are you scared of? I would love to talk to you about them. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a nice and lovely day. Bye.